Hi and welcome to this lesson where we're going to add in the extra piano. Now in this session um, we're going to add in the extra piano riff that uh, I talked about in the previous lesson that follows on from the, the build up of the chords. Whereas this time it's going to go... It's going to have that classic standard straightforward piano house vibe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick on the metronome and I'm going to hit record um, just a few bars before and then we'll get the feel for it here like so. So here goes. That's it. And all we're going to do is we're just going to use the first two chords of the uh, the riff for this section before we go back into the, the four chords. So I'm going to quantize that. There's a few notes here that are a bit off, so I need to just straighten them out. That needs to be coming on the line. Let's just open those up slightly. Make sure that your root notes are... Um, that they drag over, that they roll over quite long, so. so there's not much of a gap between each one, so that the sustain of the notes uh, follows on, it lingers on, um, like so. There you go. It's just the first two chords that we've done. So let's just have a look at that. Let's just now extend that. So I'm going to copy and paste that over, take the metronome off and go. Oh, I don't like the end bit, so let's just set that right. We just need to add in a few notes there like that on this one. So it goes like that. Let's copy that over again. There we go. So what I'm going to do, that's perfect, that's fine. So there's your piano riff, there's your basic piano riff. It's just fast stabs. Just like that. So very simple, very straightforward. I mean, you could do it any kind of way. You could go like. You could pick it up or you could slowly do it. You know, you could sustain the notes and, and, and the, the chords. You could drag them out a bit. However you want to do it is up to you, but it, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. So we've got those over, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have the high string on octave five. And there you go, just a very straightforward couple of notes, the F and the C. And then it goes up to the G and then back down again. So let's just open that up. And there we go. Let's just quantize those. And it just has that extra, you know, um, little bit of uh, atmosphere. Um, you can have them on the line. It's always good with this high string with the slow attack to come over the line slightly. So let's just get that straight in. Then. that so copy those over again just get that on the line make sure that it all rolls over perfectly and copy the pianos over again and we'll do that for that section there and that'll be fine for that section there and then we're going to put some kicks in over here as well so what we'll do is uh, we'll grab one of the kicks like that pull that in copy those over again and again like so. Put a wind chime there. Okay, let's just try that.
possibly put in an arpeggiated chord on top of that in the higher octave of the piano. Where we're just playing down the notes. F, uh, E, C, A and F, and then E, D, B and G. We could do that there, or we could do that with the El Harpo. See what that sounds like. Um, I think we'll take that to the next level um, uh, on the next lesson where we'll probably add the piano in uh, on a higher octave. You can, again, it's subjective. So um, head over to the next lesson and we will take this further into the uh, next developing stage. So any questions, just email me and I'll respond within 24 hours. Thank you and goodbye.